Hey everyone, so Robin here. You're probably wondering what I'm doing, why I'm on here, and I finally wanted to get something started that I've wanted to for a really long time. I've talked a long time about I'm going to start this vlogging, I'm going to start blogging, I'm going to start whatever it is that you call it, and I've put it off for so long, but I think I've put it off for so long because I wasn't ready. I don't think I was in the right frame of reference or mind. You know, I was busy. I had something to do all the time. And today it really hit me after I spoke to one of my clients. I just had this like epiphany, this aha moment that, you know, I'm ready. Like this is the time I'm, I'm done. I've completed my doctorate, right? That was the one thing that consumed a lot of my time. And when I was done, I was like, what do I do next? Oh yeah, do the thing that you've been really wanting to do this whole time. And so, you know, I'm, I'm coming on here candidly. I've got no script. I have no like action plan of anything really. I just wanted this to be my first step to say, all right, this is who I am, this is me, this is what I do. So to try to make like a, a long story kind of compacted, um, I am a licensed mental health counselor in private practice. And I also am an adjunct instructor at the you know local college, Eastern Florida State. And the one thing that I have really learned through my years now of private practice is that a lot of my clients tell me different stories, right? Everybody has a different issue, a different thing that they they come in for, but it's so much the same thing. It could be a relationship issue, which a lot of times that's what it is, um, a relationship or a work or a parent situation, or like I'm just stuck in life and I need, I need help. And I hear all kinds of things. I hear all kinds of questions. I'm asked to give advice. And those that truly know me know that I don't give advice. And that's because advice doesn't work. It doesn't. Nobody really wants advice. They want to be, they want to be heard. They want to be listened to. And so I think what the focus of me doing this is going to be speaking truth, giving out little nuggets of thoughts that may help you in that moment where you needed it. Um, I'm going to have, hopefully I'll have different themes, different things to talk about. But right now, the, the main thing I just want to start with is, and this is what kind of like popped in my head, is the lie, is the lie that we've sold ourselves, the lie that we've bought into, the lie that says it's me, it's not you, it's not them, the you made me this way because of X, Y, Z, or I did this to you because you did this. And none of this happens in a bubble. None of our uh, mistreatment, none of the trauma, if you want to call it, the anxiety, the depression, the whatever it is, none of it typically just happens. It's years of learned behavior. And we've learned to be conditioned. We've learned to believe the lie. And it starts usually at a very young age when we're being molded, when we're, when we're being, you know, sold on, this is how people act. This is how people behave. This is what you're worth. This is what you're not worth. And this is not exactly personal experience. Although yes, I've had some of that personal experience, but this is, a collection of so many people's thoughts that have come to me and it's really the same thing consistently it's the lie it's the lie that we've bought into and so my goal is to help expose the lie 
expose it, expose the anxiety, expose the depression, expose things for what they really are so that we get to a place where we stop assigning blame on ourselves. We stop assigning that it's, and that's important. It's important to take accountability for what you've done to yourself and maybe if you've wronged someone, but it's more importantly to have that, you know, and I don't want to say like self-love because I mean, although it's true, you know, people get sick of hearing self-love and just love yourself. And, and, and that's not something to make fun of, but it's something to, you know, talk about because I want to be very real about things. I want things to be very approachable and I want to get over the complete, and I think we're getting better, but I want people to get over like the bullshit about therapy. You know, it, is it true that you walk in to therapy with a, an issue and you walk out maybe with like five, six, seven, ten? And you're like, man, I walked into my therapist. I mean, this doesn't happen to me. I explain it to people. But I walked into my therapist and I had this problem. And then I walked out with all of these diagnoses or whatever. And that's not what I went for. That's not what I hear from people, but that's what I've been told by people. And so my approach to therapy is very different. It's not textbook. It's not, you know, sit on the couch and tell me all your problems. Although I have a couch and people do. Um, I do a lot of virtual therapy. That's most of what I do is virtual. But what I do is I get people to their stuckness, where their stuckness is, and we start getting the person unstuck. We start exposing the lie for what it is, which is the lie. And so my goal is to, if I can help, if I can assist one person just listening, then hey, my job is done. But I get so many ideas in my head. I get so many thoughts and I get so many times where I just want to share this with someone that might need this in that moment and they might make a different decision or they might think differently about themselves if they just heard that. And so that's going to be my goal when I do this is to help you buy the truth instead of the lie. So I hope you join me on this journey of understanding and awareness and belief that sometimes, like Freud says, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, okay? So stay tuned.